Oh my God, it's starting to get good now, isn't it? It's starting to get all right. We're loving it, loving it, loving it. We're loving it like that. Listen. I ain't that, but I... <laughs> It's starting to get good now. It's starting to pick up like weekend dance and them things there. And I'm feeling it. You get me? Don't get me wrong. It's still not to the expectations that I expect our all-stars to be. I had high expectations for this series and them things there. Expectations higher than a stewardess and them things there. But it's starting to get better. That's all I can say, in it? And it's going to get peak. Toby was angry, in it? Did you see his head? <laughs> Bro, the brother was steaming like locomotives. He was fuming like vapes. The guy was so angry, he wanted to mash that up. You just saw him, that's why the that's why the camera kept focused on him and them things there. Yo, this guy with his flipping iPhone charger head. The guy's head looks like a flipping electric meter and them things there. <laughs> I'm so curious to see who's gonna pick who and them things there. It's interesting. Excellent, Smithers, excellent. Let's start it from the top. It's your boyfriend, Stones. You know how we do. If you're new to this channel, you like it, you like what you see, you're loving it, loving it, loving it. Hit that sub button for me, comment, share, like, you know how we do gang business. So, this episode started with this waste man, this little honey monster, Tom, yeah? This little lanky Larry just finished off his dates. You know the dates with the free, the free heifers and them things there, the free ostriches. And he just come back, he was feeling himself like Tweet. He was feeling himself like a masturbator and them things there. Like the, that, like, like the banker, but with a W that he is. <laughs> He was proper feeling himself. A couple of the boys were trying to find out like who out of all the girls he's proper feeling. Obviously, what's her name? Antibiotics, um, a cappella. She was ruled out straight away. He wanted nothing to do with um, arachnophobia because I think like there weren't no connections there. She's she's another one. She's dry. He's, bro, he's drier than the flipping hippo's kneecaps. The brother's drier than monkey nuts and them things there. He's so dry. All Half of them in that yard. I swear down, they need to just ship them all out and bring in new people. Dead. Talking of dead, yeah, bro, this Sophie girl. You know what? She's cool still, but I think she's a bit slow in the head still. I'm not going to lie. She sounds a bit, she sounds slow. You know them ones there? She sounds slower than the mobility scooter. I don't know. When she talks, yeah, she just sounds like a knob cheese. <laughs> I can't listen to her still, I'm not gonna lie. Georgia, Georgia's another scumbag. See Georgia, yeah, I, obviously I'm not familiar with her. I never watched her season or nothing. But like I said, she looks like Gonzo from, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bro, she looks like she's from Sesame Street and them things there. That's all I'm saying. Chris, this brother looks like a flipping Russian meerkat. But this brother, yo, he's on Sophie. He wants to clap her cheeks, bro. He wants to part the nyash like Moses did the Red Sea and them things there. He wants to fold it like a paper plane, I swear down. Origami business. He <laughs> this city, he's trying to go to the fishmongers with her. You know them ones there? Fam, he's on Sophie, innit? And antibiotics, you know. Agrophobia, arachnophobia is not having it. This acapella gal... She showed him that she's not having it tonight, which I'm going to talk about in a minute. But this Chris brother, fam, he got brazen tonight. And he's a mad you as well. He's always putting all his eggs in the same basket. That's why the man that can never have omelette. He told Arabella that he had, he'd had a crush on this girl for ages, rare, 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 and all them things there. Whenever he sees Nyash here, he's the kind of brother, he'll definitely die for Nyash. He will eat the batty, he will eat toes, feet, all that stuff. Bro, have you not learned with Molly the mistakes you made? Anyway, do you know what? She didn't pick him. The public picked and stuff. But he's a waste man. Liberty. Oh my God. This girl does my head in. This girl is a scavenger. She's literally a prawn. She is a bottom feeder. She is bottom tier. Everything about her is bottom. She's an arse. <laughs> She's a batty cheek. This girl... I just can't believe, imagine she's still going through the same issues with this waste man, this messy Mitch brother. The same thing, trying to find out where she stands with him. Bro, you need to go stand on a bus stop because you're an idiot. This girl is so dumb. Remember when Forrest Gump said, stupid is what stupid does. This is stupid, bro. She's some proper bird brain chick, some dysfunctional ostrich and them things there. And the mad thing is, yeah, imagine in the last episode, Anton gave us some good advice about and Mitch and them things there, and she goes and snitches on Anton on this episode. To Mitch! And then this waste man, Mitch here, when he confronted Anton. Fam, the way Anton handled him, Anton ate him up, ate him up like haggis and them things there, dragged him like a crossdresser. Anton batted him up, gathered him like a fire assembly and them things there, gathered my man up like some, like some dry leaves, bro. <laughs> 
on Dell with my man, bro, it's like grabbing a man by his coat lapel and just grab, yo! Anton said to him, what bro code? What bro code? <laughs> what bro code? How can Mitch be talking about bro code, bro code? This same Mitch that went and snitched on Lewis the other day. Mitch! The one that's got Bear Man in trouble in previous episode. Reason why you call Messi Mitch. Talking about, bro, I swear down. I wanted to dash a kettle at Mitch tonight. I swear to God. He was peeing me off. I know he's entertaining, but sometimes I just want to Luke and kick him. Because he's just annoying. Did you guys see Chris? Little waste, man. The brother looks like a flipping Serbian um, chiropractor or something. Or some Lithuanian bookkeeper. The guy's just a waste, man. How did he walk past um, Arabati, antiperspirant? How did he walk past antioxidant holding Sophie's hand in them things there? That was a bit insensitive still, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that was a bit insensitive. And bro, antibiotics didn't take it well. Arachnophobia, she didn't go down without a fight in them things there, I'm not going to lie. But my man, bro, he moves fast though. Flipping, what's his name, Chris? The boy moves faster than Flash in them things there. For Nyash, this brother would definitely die for Nyash. Wallahi. And this girl as well, this acrobatics girl here, this flipping anti-pasty girl. This girl is a full-time idiot. Not no part-time, she's full-time idiot. Imagine this girl came on the show talking about, she's what, she's like 33 now, 34. She don't, she's almost a grandma on them things there. Great grandma. Got dust anyway. <laughs> I'm joking. She's talking about, she's come here to look for something more serious and stuff, yeah? And one minute you're arguing with Chris and all that, Next minute, you're talking all sexually with Josh and stuff like, acting like you want to toggle his joystick, acting like you want to play with his meerkat. This girl is just so unserious. That's why after this, uh, I'm not going to lie, call her all these kind of names, acapella, arabati, acrobiotics, I don't know, antibiotics, whatever. She's an idiot, full-time idiot, trust me. How can you go from, I swear she, I heard she was dating a Man City football player, like um, Ruben Diaz, and now you're... <laughs> Life is harsh. Life is harsh. The way life can hit people sometimes. Hannah Montana and Tyler, the creator, are really together. They're really together. Fam, I thought this was just pants. <laughs> I thought this was just pants. But, but they're really together. Then the night time comes and you know how the night time goes and everything's there. Because the night time is the fight time. Bro, this prawn lip girl. The girl with the prawn lips. It looks like she got cold sore on her lips and everything's there. The shrimp lip girl, Georgia H. Fam, she's another girl, bro. She tossing Anton blood. I don't even know what's wrong with Anton. I don't know why he can't get no nyash. How come he can't bang though? What's wrong with Anton? He's not ugly brother. He's got muscles and he sounds like he's quite, he's not a dumb guy. He's actually one of the most mature guys in that yard right now. Why did the girl not want him? Has he got athlete's foot, bio, halitosis? I don't know. What is it? Like, I don't know. What is it with Anton? I don't know why the girl don't like him, you know? But bro, the shrimp lip girl, she's basically done with him. He can't understand why, because I think she said that he was coming on too strong and stuff. Bro, them man, they need some lessons Some Bro, what's wrong with Anton, man? Then it was Chris in this antibiotics girl's argument, and bro, when I'm telling you everybody had front seats for it, everybody in the whole yard was just there watching. <laughs> Bro, they were proper watching. Kaz was just like, everyone. It reminded me of that scene, was it from the last season where Martin had the popcorn and stuff on movie night. Bro, everybody was just enjoying it. But the whole argument was just stupid, if you ask me. Antibiotics here is full of, she's full of shit. Honestly, let's be honest about it. He hasn't really hidden anything from her. He's been honest about everything. I think um, Arabati, Acapella, Antibiotics, um, Acrobatics, I think she's just mad. She's salty. Bro, the girl is salty like pretzels and them things there. She's just salty because she's been rejected. No one likes being rejected and dashed to the side. She is salty. She's just mad. Chris ain't lied to her. It's just that he doesn't feel about how he feel about Sophie, about her, and she's mad. She needs to let it go. Trust me, like Elsa from Frozen and them things there. Just let it go. <laughs> She needs to let it go. He don't want her. At your grown age, Auntie Pasty, doing all this because the man's holding hands with another girl, you know. All this. Fam. Then it was recoupling time and bro. <laughs> this is when it got tense. I swear down. You can hear the pin drop and stuff here. Yeah? It's recoupling time. Obviously, the two newest people being Tom and Sophie, they get first dibs of picking. It was a public picking for them and them things there. And Tom was... Coupled up with um, Molly and Sophie coupled up with Josh. <laughs> Which leaves mainly 
Toby and Georgia, Georgia's peed off because I told you they got a cold war. Georgia and Molly got a madness going on. Like they're trying to beef over the same man, the same Willie. Like they're proper like Kung Fu fighting over Willie and them things there over like these dumb brothers, bro. These guys, bro. But yeah, Sophie's got Josh, Tom has got Molly and Toby is P.O.'d. His square head was just looking more rectangular. He was just looking so angry and them things there. I'm interested to see what's going to happen tomorrow. Trust me, excellent Smithers. <laughs> oh, listen, I can't even believe like the producers ended it where it ended yeah. Like no, there's no, there was no tomorrow night. None of that. They just deaded it off on them things there. Joke thing. But yeah, it's looking spicy though. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm, I'm liking it still. I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. <laughs>